Hello, good evening, greetings. I go by the name of The Bearded Captain, flag bearer and trendsetter of all beards on digital and digital broadcasting media. I am that beard who tries to make people laugh. I am that beard who tries to make people smile with his witty banter. Guys, I hope you're well this evening and I hope you're looking after yourselves. And in quarantine period and in isolation period, I hope you're maintaining your beards and helping them blossom to grow nicely. Uh, I haven't done one of these, what it feels like, uh, been in a while, due to the bearded captain having a bit of man flu. Now, even beards have man flu. Uh, in fact, even more so beards have man flu because they have face of men. And obviously, as we know, men and flu, they go hand in hand. Uh, and of course, it is a thing. Uh, if you... Uh, pay attention to the research uh, and the studies by the scientists. Anyway, alhamdulillah, all praise be to the one who's given me my beard. I'm pretty much close back to full strength, full form and full fitness. Uh, I am obviously doing this video now this evening because what I want to talk about is an issue in bearded life, which... Uh, is maybe a bit understated, but as always with all topics, it's worth a mention. And that, ladies and gentle beards, is the issue of the grey beard. Uh, you look like Santa Claus, or you look old, or you look this and the other, and at times much is made of the grey beard. Now, we can put a spin on it and say you look old, you look like Santa Claus, or we can put the spin on it and say, you look like a George Clooney. But even George Clooney, uh, it must be mentioned, is one of those where he shaves and grows and shaves and grows. But, guys, my bearded brothers, when it comes, embrace your grey beard. Even the captain has one or two strands at 33. is a bit heartbreaking, of course. But um, your bearded captain is sure to embrace it. Uh, but one thing that I advise you not to do, my brothers, is please do not do a Brosnan. Please do not do a Brosnan or a Sean Connery. Uh, so this particular element of uh, grey beard needs to be mentioned. So it shows wisdom and it's a humbling experience when your beards go grey. But it misses the point if you, throughout your beauty years, are clean shaven. Um, and then when you feel your stubbly hairs are going grey, then to grow a beard. This, my brothers, misses the point. Uh, and this is not the full essence of the grey beard. So, you want to enjoy the uh, bounties and the beautiful fruits of the grey beard? Grow your beard and look after it properly when your hairs are black. Then you'll truly be able to... Uh, feel, experience and embrace the essence of a grey beard. Cause my beards, if you don't, you are missing the point. You are missing the point, my bearded beloveds. So, you know, you, you, you're missing the trick. Just don't. Make sure, my bearded brothers, you grow your beards, maintain them and ensure that you use the correct product, adequate product, Use a beard comb, wooden one, much more preferred, or even a beard brush if you so insist. But don't forget your beard shampoo. And when your beard obviously matures and turns grey, embrace it. Don't do a Brosnan or a Connery, which means when you get to the twilight of your years, then you start to grow a beard. That's not the beauty of a grey beard. The beauty of a grey beard is that. And even... If you want to, pour a bit of ginger in your beard as well, because that ginger beard looks awesome. And that is over and out from your bearded captain. Have a lovely evening. Peace.